Welcome guys, I'm Gio here, hope you're having a great day and in this video we continue our discussion about RxJS and specifically we will talk about how to share the work uh, between uh, different subscribers. Let's check our setup, we have the select without the options and then we have total and our task is to uh, generate uh, these options based on the games that are retrieved from API and also we have to output the number of total number of games that we have retrieved in our code we have observable called games and uh, it is basically making the call to uh, my API now based on this now we have to accomplish our tasks but first of all let's check how games look like and uh, then decide how to proceed So let's just subscribe to games and uh, log whatever we get. Refresh the page and as you see we have the list and uh, every item and it has the ID. It has also the title. If we check the network call, this is our call. Okay, it is making the call to this API. So let's uh, proceed further and uh, Let's first output the total number of games that we have. To achieve that, I would like to create another observable based on games that will represent the number of total games. So let's call this total games and then base this on the games that we have here. Inside the pipe, we need to use map operator and here we get the list of games because that's what games represents as we have seen already and here we just have to return the length of uh, the games so it will it will be the number of games now we have this observable and uh, at this point we have to uh, take this and subscribe to it total games and let's subscribe to it and after that here we will get the actual number and then we will need to put this number here in this span. So let's do this. Okay, we have this. Let's uh, check the result. Okay, refresh the page and here we are. We have six here and we also get the list of the games in the console. Now let's move our task further and let's generate the options for the select. Again, in this case I want to create another observable that will be called options. Let's call this options, select options and uh, it will basically generate the HTML elements, the options for our select. And this also will be based on games and we will have games, pipe and here we also have to use map operator because we are transforming the games into the options. So for every game that we receive, uh, every games list that we receive from games, uh, we need to map each game and uh, transform this into option. So we need to create an uh, option element and we also have to you know, set the value uh, attribute. So we use set attribute and it will be a value. And uh, the value should be the ID of a game. So it will be this. And then we have to set the text of this option uh, to whatever game's text is. So what we have to do is take the option and set this to game title. And in the end, we have to return the option. We have two maps here. One is operator that is coming from RxJS and another is uh, available for every array in JavaScript. It is the regular map function. They are different things. One is for observables and another is working for arrays. Now let's check the options and uh, then we will apply these options and uh, push them into the actual select. But first, let's subscribe to options and see what they look like. Refresh the page and we have our options. 
and that is good now what we have to do is to go through these options and uh, basically push them here in uh, select in our subscription instead of logging this we have to go through every option so again we can use for each in this case and uh, we will receive options here and now as we have this we can go ahead and push this option as a child of this element of this select element so let's take uh, this select and we need to call the append child and the child will be our option okay this should work right now let's check the results and it is working we have the list here and it is exactly the same that we have and we also output the total number of games and everything seems to be working fine if we check our code we see how the observables can be chained together and uh, they can be achieving uh, different things we can uh, base any number of other observables based on the games and uh, this is the beauty of the observables they are very composable and you can achieve many different things by abstracting and composing different uh, functionalities and different observables it seems to be okay everything is working fine but we have a problem if we go back here and check the network tab we are making three requests if we look at this they are exactly the same we are making three requests what happens you know why is that the case well that's because as i've mentioned previously in other videos whenever we subscribe to observable the observable uh, will be executed for each subscription so i have three subscriptions here and all of them refer to games in some way yeah we directly subscribe to games so this is executed this is one request yeah we subscribe to total games but total games is based on the games and eventually in this chain this will be executed so this is our second request and when we apply our options when we append our options into select we also subscribe to select options and this is based on games as well and in this chain the games will be executed eventually and uh, it is making the third request and that is the problem this is the example where some observable might have some expensive operation within you can have some computation or you can have some requests and uh, ideally what you want to do is to take this uh, result whatever is produced by games and share it with subscribers and uh, this is uh, this this can be very tricky when we have a large app and we have many observables they are chained together some of them can uh, be very expensive operations and in this chains it's hard to follow them and see the performance issues that they cause so we have to make sure that whenever we have some heavy observable uh, we are sharing its results with uh, subscribers so how can we do that well there is an operator in rxjs it's called share and if we put share after the map uh, that is taking the actual list from the response and save this uh, it will only make single requests let's check this i refresh the page only single request is made and everything works as it was working before but now it's efficient you know it has taken the results of this call and shared among the subscribers this is very very important operator and you should always use this when you have expensive observables now how it works well it is going to take whatever value arrived from the source in this case this and it is going to keep this value and whenever someone subscribes to this uh, in this case select options or total games or games it is going to push this value to the subscriber 
and it's going to keep this value and when new subscribers arrive in this case first we have select options then we have total games and we have games it is going to take the exact same result of the latest value and uh, push it down to subscribers that's why when we have multiple subscriptions here this is going to make only one request if all the subscribers are gone and there are no more subscribers share is going to release that value and when new subscription happens after some time it is still going to call this request so to demonstrate this point what i'm going to do is i will wrap this game's subscription into a timeout so after all of this is done after we have generated the options and applied them and after we have updated the total games and the subscriptions are finished then we wait two seconds and then subscribe to games again let's check this refresh the page and it has been uh, generated options are there the number is here and after two seconds we have received the list refresh the page again wait for two seconds and it is the list but now if i go to networks there are two requests that's because at this point when our program executed there are no more subscriptions this subscription was completed because it emits the one result this was completed and uh, the subscription is also gone and uh, share doesn't have any more subscribers and it is going to release the results but at a later time after two seconds we subscribe to games again and at that time it just uh, took the underlying observable subscribe to it and it made the request now if i take the options here and log this again just the options we still have uh, two requests let's check this and as you see there are two requests one is for the first set of subscriptions and, a, and another after two seconds we have listed the games and the generated options and that is because in this case when we subscribed to the games share operator made a single request took the result and uh, after that it just uh, shared it with other subscribers in this case with uh, this let's recap how share works as long as there are subscribers it is going to keep the latest value emitted from the source in this case this call and it is going to share this value to new subscribers so the underlying observable only executes once now if all subscribers are gone uh, then it is going to release this uh, result latest result and just do nothing and when again we will have new subscriptions it is going to execute underlying observable again and this is how you share the work between different subscriptions and uh, basically cache the results for heavy observables. That's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Click the like button, subscribe and uh, share it with your friends.